So now that I've officially owned my Birkin for a couple of months, I have to ask, was it worth it? And should I just have bought another Kelly instead? But before we answer that question, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when? Every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership. We have an amazing, very engaged community, a super fun Discord, the safe space where we talk about all this stuff 24 seven. But seriously, now that I've owned my Birkin for a couple of months, I can ask the question, am I team Kelly? Am I team Birkin? Was it, was it smart spending this kind of money on a Birkin? Should I just have bought another Kelly? What are we talking about? Before we can dive in and answer that question, I wanna tell you a little bit about my history with the Birkin and some of my first impressions. Like I said, I've owned this bag for a couple of months now. I've learned a little bit about it. I've learned a little bit about the Birkin. I've learned a little bit about myself and I think I'm ready to make a declaration in my team Birkin and my team Kelly. So I purchased my Birkin back in September. I waited a full week until after my husband's birthday. You're welcome, Zane, to purchase my Holy Grail Dream bag. Now, this was not a small sum of money. As we all know, you've, if you've been around the block here in the luxury community, you know what a Birkin costs. You probably know what I spent because I told you in my unboxing. But if you haven't seen my unboxing yet, I'm like, how did you miss it? But if you have, link will be down in the description and I've got a card up here for you. But don't watch until after you're done watching this. Like, finish this video, please. But I knew I would be spending a lot of money, so I wanted to have the perfect Birkin. I knew I wanted something in heritage leather, which, box calf, hello, gorgeous, stunning, thank you. I, I just wanted it to be right. Like, I wasn't gonna settle. I've wanted a Birkin for probably about 20 years now. Like, ever since I was in high school, one of the students at my school, she was carrying a fake blue jean Birkin, probably a 35 or a 40 with palladium hardware. And before I even knew what a Birkin was, before the Sex in the City, Samantha, oh, it's 4,000. Uh, I wanted a Birkin. Like, all the hype and the, the mysterious nature of the Birkin, like I, that didn't matter to me. I saw that shape. I said, that is a beautiful, stunning bag. I have to have it. And then I did some Googling and found out like, oh, oh, oh. So we went on the Birkin journey. We started last year. I ended up buying my Kelly instead because the price was too good. Togo leather, blue jean palladium. I mean, hello, it, it's stunning. 35 centimeter. And I loved this bag, you guys. I was so in love with this bag. I told myself like, before I found my Birkin, the, the, the hunt, by the way, was horrendous. It was absolutely awful. It took months of searching, months of saving. We had lots of live sales. Like, it was a strenuous process. And I almost settled on another Kelly just because there were all these beautiful box calf Kellys popping up. But I said, no, Caleb, you're so close. Get to the finish line, find the Birkin. And I did at Lux Du Jour. Lux Du Jour is a beautiful Canadian company. They got their start back in 2016, I believe, selling primarily only on Instagram. They've slowly built up to a few brick and mortar stores, both up in Canada, and I think they have one here in the States out West, maybe in California somewhere. They were phenomenal to work with. I was texting with one of the sales associates back and forth that weekend before I made my purchase. They gave me a little bit of history about the bag. They sent me extra photos phenomenal team. So what I want you guys to do, if you're interested in purchasing from Lux Du Jour, use my code down below. You'll get $50 off your first $1,000 purchase. I'll get $50 for your purchase. It's a win-win. Let's help each other out. I'm only a few more credits away from buying the bag charm I have my eye on, which will look phenomenal on my Birkin. But let's talk about my Birkin. Like, what are my, what are my first impressions? You all know I am a huge Hermes lover. I have four bags now in my collection. My Rio, my Birkin, my Kelly, and my Vespa, all fabulous bags. But what do I think about the Birkin? So as a Birkin lover, someone who appreciates the Birkin and understands it, I, I planned this purchase out. I didn't just waltz into a store and pick up any old Birkin that they offered me. Like I knew what I wanted. I wanted something specific, something beautiful, and I got exactly what I wanted. So this is a heritage leather. It's box calf, as you all know, and it is stunning. Like if you're afraid of box calf leather, don't be. Just don't take it in the rain because it will blister. Preserve your box calf, but don't be afraid of it. Like the scratches will all just meld into a beautiful mirror finish. Like it is truly a stunning leather. The color is Vert Foncé, which is a beautiful dark green, which coincidentally after I purchased mine has been reissued into the Hermes color wheel. So trendsetter maybe, just kidding. <laughs> They don't know who I am. The hardware is palladium. The size is 35 centimeters. Now compared to my Kelly 35, obviously they're both gonna be the same length, roughly the same height. But the nice thing, the Birkin will give you a little bit more room as far as the depth goes, which can come in handy. It can also be a little bit of a detriment. So what I love about carrying my Birkin, it fits everything you need it to. I mean, a Birkin is a Birkin is a Birkin, hello. I can fit everything that I need in here for a full day out and it fits perfectly. That's my one complaint about the depth of my Kelly. With the Kelly, like she's a good size, like she, she's big, but you have to be a little bit 
It's almost Tetrisy sometimes because I carry my long wallet, my Bratza from Louis Vuitton. I have that big bulky Chanel eyeglass case, my Posh Toilet 15 keys, the car key, my Coach Pill case, my Longchamp thing holding my Bang & Olufsen headphones. I do have to edit and not carry everything I want in my Kelly. That's not, that's not how it goes with my Birkin. I actually have to leave some things out because as you're aware, the Birkin is quite heavy. Now I have the box cap version, which is gonna be lighter than like your Togo and your Clements. Like the, the box cap's not bad, but it does start to wear on you. So this has shown up in a few of my weekend shopping vlogs and it's really nice, but boy does it get heavy. It gets heavy real quick. Like your fingers will start to hurt after a while. So is it smart? Like if, if you want one of these for work, don't do it. Don't do it. Just get a long chomp toe. It is too heavy for work. You're going to put your laptop in there, maybe some files. Do people still carry files in 2023? I don't know. You do you. I just carry mine for everyday like looks when I'm out and about, only on weekends. I don't like to take it to work. It's a little ostentatious. Now, how do I carry my Birkin? You are so curious. I love that about you. First of all, did I mention it was full set? I don't think I did. This came with the dust bag because it has gone to spa since it was originally made back in 2001. This is an 01, you guys. Oh my gosh, I just realized it was literally in existence when I fell in love with the Birkin, so it's like been waiting on me for almost 20 years. 22 years. Math, who knew? Anyway, so it was a full set. Has the clochette, has the lock, has the new dust bag. I don't carry it with any of that on there. So I don't put the clochette on here just because it's the box cap. I don't want it to rub. Obviously, you don't put your lock on the Tourette if you're not actually going to lock it because it will go back and forth and create the smile. I was very specific. I hate Birkins with a smile, so I wanted to make sure I didn't get one with a smile. Now, sadly, this one has a very minor smile, but you have to like look for it. You have to look for the smile. Like it's it's a secret smile. Like I said, I don't carry the cliche. I don't put the lock on. Uh, I just like it clean and I do not carry it closed. I thought you guys, I was watching all these Birkin videos. I'm like, it can't be that hard to walk around with a closed Birkin. Like this Kelly closed is so easy to get in and out of, even with like the singles done up, the flap closed. It is like in and out super quick. It's like, oh, the Birkin's gonna be the same way. Absolutely not. So not only do you have to undo the singles like you would on the Kelly, you then have to pull the singles out of the pontets. So that way they just hang down, hey. And then you have to like get the flap up and around the Tourette through the handles. And unless you can set this down and do it like at like the checkout stand, you're not gonna do that while you're walking around. You've got your phone in there and it's ringing. Send them to voicemail or just answer it with your Apple Watch because you're not gonna get your phone out of your bag anytime soon before that call hangs up. Now the bag, like I said, she can get a little heavy. Box cap isn't the worst, which is nice. This one, am I team Birkin or am I team Kelly? Cause I'm like, the more I'm talking about it, I'm like finding things out I don't really love about this one that I love about this one, vice versa. The nice thing with this one, you only have the one handle and it's nice and flat on the inside. So it just kind of like rests in the hand super easily. This one, you have two handles, even though What's nice is that they're a little bit thinner than most of these like double handles, like on my multicolor speedy. Those handles are chunky, like they will fill up your entire hand. This one, you can just kind of like rest it on your fingers as you're walking around, but you've got two handles to contend with and kind of like in your hand, figure out how they're gonna like lay and sit. And so it is nice having just the one handle. It is easier to get in and out of the Kelly. The Kelly is a nicer size. If you're going out to lunch, you can just set it on the table next to you. Or if you're in a booth between you and your husband, this one, she's a little bit bigger. So like putting this between Zane and I, probably not gonna work. And if I set her up on the table, well, just hold my salad because I'm not gonna have room for everything. What do I like more? <laughs> I, I love my Birkin. Before we can truly answer the question, am I team Birkin, am I team Kelly? Let me show you what fits in here and then I'll think about it for a little while longer and then I'll give you the decision because even I don't know what team I'm on. <laughs> now, this is everything that I carry pretty much on a daily basis. I didn't really edit anything down. First off, we have my Posh Toilette 15. This is like my everyday ride or die case, you guys. I love this thing. I was able to get my hands on it. I probably got the last one in like Chicagoland. Sorry, not sorry, but what I carry inside. We have two different chapsticks. I have my Chanel and my Hermes, my Shiseido Urban Environments. I have my bag hook on there in case I'm at like one of those cute little tables in town and they don't have a chair for my bag, God forbid. My air tag because hello, I'm carrying a Birkin. I have a couple of heel pads and some band-aids, my little hand mirror from my ideal sponsorship, my glasses case. Like this is pretty much just like everything that I like to have on me on like a regular basis. So I usually put that in first and I throw it back in the back. Next up, we have my sunglasses. Now, you've probably noticed that this case is for like everyday glasses, but my old Versace sunglasses from like 2013, that case got ruined. So I use this 
more often than not. And um, yes, I'm still using sunglasses from 2013. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So we'll throw that in here as well. I like to put the sunglass case right in front of my posh toilet. Next up, we have my headphones. Now this Longchamp case, this is from the Brioche collection. And I, I wish you could feel this leather, you guys. It is beautiful, sumptuous, Longchamp goodness, nice and padded. And inside here, I just keep my Bang & Olufsen EQ Bayo Play headphones. These are amazing. My model has been discontinued, but if, if you can get your hands on some uh, Bang & Olufsen, I highly recommend it. They are amazing. We'll throw that in there as well. These come in handy for like train rides into the city, like when you just want to like listen to TikTok, but not bother everyone around you. Yes, I'm the considerate guy on the train. More people should try that. <laughs> And then up next we have my key case. This is the Prada six key holder. This has keys to the apartment, different mailboxes, PO boxes, keys for work. It's all right in here. And then the car key. So yes, my husband typically drives. However, with the BMW, if the passenger has the key on them, then it unlocks both the front doors rather than just the driver's side door. And it's a whole thing. So yes, I carry the car key, even though I don't really drive. Next up, we have my coach pill case in here. You know, I'm in my mid thirties, not gonna lie. I need to have like my Advil, my Tylenol. I get raging headaches if I don't have enough coffee. And then when I have too much coffee, I need Tums. So it's a vicious cycle, but it's all right here. And last but not least, we have my Louis Vuitton Bratza wallet. I love this thing. This is my ride or die wallet. If this ever wore out, I would rebuy it in a heartbeat. This was like the best six or $700 I've ever spent. Has 16 card slots, like three or four, bill slots, a zippered compartment for coins. This thing is phenomenal, you guys. I, I have like probably close to 20 wallets in my collection and I always use this one. And that is everything inside my Birkin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I literally have a Hermes card in there from when I bought my scarf for my birthday. But that, guys, this bag is phenomenal. As you can tell, like it's not too heavy with like my everyday essentials in there. Like it's manageable. But if you're gonna be in the city all day riding the trains and whatnot, like it, it's a little, a little ludicrously capacious, if you will. Now with this bag, of course, you all know that there is a slip pocket here on the front side on the inside and then on the back on the inside there's a zipper pocket. As you can see it's kind of got some indentations from that so I don't really use the pockets. Using the pockets can like again create those indentations from sagging or you can get like little rub spots from if I had like placed something in the front pocket. So I don't really use the pockets on this bag but <sighs> I'd be lying if I didn't say that this was one of my like top three favorite bags that I've ever owned. Like this bag you guys is phenomenal. That's no exaggeration. All right, so we've seen what fits. We've talked about like how I bought it, where I bought it, my first impressions. Now we have to decide what team I'm on. I would have to say, Team Bergen, Team Kelly. I'm just Team Hermes. I love both. There's great things about my Kelly that I love. There's things that I don't enjoy. There's things about my Birkin that I love and things that can be a little bit difficult to work with. Both bags have their pros and cons. If you want a true like, Birkin versus Kelly video, let me know down in the comments. Like I'm very happy to talk about Hermes with you guys, but I'd have to say overall, both bags do what they do and they do it well. Like this is like your casual tote. Like, hey, I'm just wandering around. It's the middle of the day. This one you could take to like work meetings, look a little bit more dressed up. Not taking this to dinner or events just because it's a huge bag and I have other bags to do that with. But yeah, I love both bags and I love the look of the Birkin open. It just looks so, I don't know, kind of, Casual. It has like a je ne sais quoi about it. Very French. Very she she. Anyway, let me down in the comments. Do you have a Birkin or a Kelly? Do you have both? Do you want one or the other? Like what team are you on? I'm very curious to hear. A lot of you have told me in the comments before that you've had both and you prefer the Birkin. I'm assuming just because it's easier to get in and out of and hello, it's a Birkin. And a lot of you are more team Kelly. So I'm really curious. Let's get a conversation going down in the comments. Members, let's talk about this over on the Discord because again, I'm super curious to see what you all think. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. And until next time, stay safe. Have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.